what's going on? I was going to show y'all what trailer I was using. I got a different one off my buddy David. And you can see, look how far I pushed all that back. Well, that estivator. I destroyed trees, bro. Just pushed them down, see how far back, see where the dirt line is. See how you can see through that building all the way back. Had to wait to save this apple tree that's hundred and some years old that's fell over to get try to get it to grow again. Man, I worked my booty off. And I pushed that big barn over. I never I, I made a video and I didn't talk about that big barn. But right there's the remnants of it. Roy made a little two little piles of it and he started cleaning on it. And hey, there's nowhere that'll take that around here. Do you know that? So you see my burn piles? Shabam, shabam. And then that wood down there is going to be burned. That cabin's like 100 year old. Isn't that cool? And it was right there in front of that tree. I'm going to try to find footage of the building that was there before because I filmed here before. Now I got to go move that wood out of the way. And make sure I don't do no nails because that building was right all the way up to that tree. And then see that I got to fell all them big tall trees. It was the height of that. It was fun. And then we cut them up, or I use the excavator to drag them. Drag them. But here's the setup. You're gonna see lots of this property because we got so much work to do cleaning this property up. This rental property. Uh, da, 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 da. and the property line goes to those trees in front of that house way the if that way it goes all the way that way and it goes down in the woods over that way. i forgot how far that way for good ways all the way back to the corner anyway what y'all think what do you think hazardous hazardous whatever lawn care i know him as david uh you've seen this trailer on his youtube channel it's right here he gave me those trimmer racks. He even gave me a good deal on this trailer. I sold my, actually I sold my 14 foot this weekend. And I sold my Skag SWZU, my walk behind. Yeah, I sold two things and you're gonna see why I'm gonna say. Well, we're trying to move and gotta get that. I could talk for hours. It's in the way. It's in the way. And instead of moving it, take it taking it back to my compound I sold those two things. The single axle trailer I just didn't want no more. It was an awesome trailer with brakes. I just don't want it. This is a set about the same size, but dual uh, tandem. Tandem axle. And I wanted a lighter weight trailer. And so far it's saving me money. It's a whole lot lighter than that 16 foot gator made. Like you see, this has four inch channel tongue. And the tongue don't even go all the way back to the fenders. You know, they call that some people call it a full frame this is not that this tongue is four inches only and it's welded up here <laughs> then you can see the braces run through that's your traditional trailer type the gator made goes full five inch tongue i mean it's completely overbuilt for lawn care it really is and i'll keep it forever because it's going to be anything i need ditch witches lawn care trailer uh I can haul tractors on it because the gate's rated for all that. Up to 7,000 pounds, that is. All right. So this is 14 foot by 76. The 61, I got the 52 on it. Yesterday I worked all day, but I did not make one video because it was hot. I mean, ha, ha, ha. Hot. Look how pretty it is in here. <coughs> I was so miserable at working yesterday, and I just passed. Not one video. I was sick as a dog. I was, y'all know it was 90, I think with heat index, 96. The, it was over 90 temperature and then it was high, high humidity. Y'all know what that feels like. Way up there. Like a $100 real feel, $100. <laughs> and we usually can acclimate to that pretty quick. But what happened is it, we kept having these cold spills for some reason. Very unnatural. So the 52's here and the 52. This is my Tennessee setup. Usually, I was going to leave the 61 on here just to leave it on here because I can use it here. I just I try to give it a break because I'm I work more big properties than I do small properties, so I'm leaving that. I'm saving it, and then of course this is my backup. It ain't got that many hours. Well, it does, but 
that's paid for paid for so these are mine and it's like the best backup it just turned two years old it's just the best backup mower in the world and then i so i use it over here because i want to but the trailer has no tie downs look at this jerry rig i mean it works uh it sucks but it works he needs some snap locks on the side david had some snap locks there randomly i think he used it for a tire like a homemade kind of thing what's them things called jungle gym makes them so other than that the 61 i left it right here in the same spot and the F, uh, swzt i leave there i don't like these things because this i don't know it just twists the gate the gate is not this is a medium grade trailer it just it twists the gate so i just lower it manually when i get to the right place for now where i haven't taken it off i usually do that god dang it i went bass backwards i do this because this gate can't handle it it like pulls this part and the gates like this and then i've done tripped over it once and then the mowers hit it real hard so i think if you had a trailer gate as strong as my gator made it would be fine but this one needs a two it needs two of those and it would be fine but god dang that thing's bulky i don't know if i'd want two of those things i'll just lift the freaking gate probably it ain't a big deal anyway I, <clears throat> so he just left it on there and give it to me so nothing wrong with it i'll use it after i do some i might weld on some tubing top and bottom to strengthen it up but but then it adds more weight you could say but i don't know and he left me this rack so i kept this rack because i sold my 14 footer and left it's the rack on there and i'm still using 525 lst 525 lst so i just started using it he even give me them locks i give the guy I sold the other trailer to the locks to those i keep the husqvarna 128 ld on here because i got the combi system in the bed of the toolbox in case somebody needs a little tree pruning or hedge trimming you know i just leave those little things just in case because i don't need three trimmers so i don't use the 128 ld to weed eat because it's too dang short well, what y'all think i appreciate david hazard i'm gonna try to link his channel or something i don't know he needs to change his name <laughs> needs to be like david's lawn care channel and then it'd be easier to find so he's the one i sold the red trailer to so he paid it forward and had a good deal and paid it forward and give me a good deal i could be happier nobody gives me a good deal i give everybody good deals all the time nobody ever gives me a good deal but now they have so it's good to have friends in low places us lawn dogs so what do y'all think and he included the spare it's right there that's why I, I drilled hose and mounted this on this side i hate trimmers on this side however i like having a solid tr uh, trailer tire mount like i have those u-hooks i could put and move it somewhere else but i don't want it so i like it if it's there i'm leaving it there and i'll just deal with that you know i'll just deal with it on this side i gotta find a blower rack i think i ordered me a jungle gym single instead of a double or use my double on this one i don't know i ain't made my mind up but man is this thing saving me gas Dumb broke the lens the first day i used it yesterday i don't know driving on the interstate all the miles i drive i got to shut up right now see i still got to put my racks on because i'm using cable locks 525 770 and my baby i brought it just to spray here I gotta kill some weeds but i gotta get off here because i've been talking i could have done had the front mow see that's why i don't like making videos when i'm mowing did y'all know that you're gonna wonder why i don't make that many and that's is why because every chance i do get it screws me over from uh working but anyway tell me what y'all think i got a good deal on it i like it it's lighter my ram hemi don't even know it's behind here it knew that gator made was back there that's why i bought that 14 footer now it's sold yes i actually sold a trailer that's two in my life so i doubt a third one will happen well you never know i guess but i'm done buying trailers 
for now or am i i don't know i can't see <laughs> you never know do you but for now this is going to be my primary trailer for all the states because i'm saving money on gas and this thing is so light to pull oh my gosh medium duty trailers are the way to go unless now if i work local every day my gator mate i would just keep, deal with the gas loss but where i'm driving hundreds but i don't even want to tell you how many hundreds of miles i drive almost a thousand a week about eight six six to eight i done wore these tires out too they're still legal barely but i gotta get me some new tires for the truck a lot of miles man but anyway i'll update y'all on all my might even video my brush pile fire when me and the better half comes over here and does stuff i gotta go in here and check this house i found some old antique tools or we did in that barn too maybe i'll show them one of them's an old skiff to cut grass with Ah, the speed limit on this old back road's like 35 or something. My car was like bouncing just about going by. Anyway, peace and chicken grease.